Can anybody agree with me? Can, can somebody just agree with me for once, please? Please? <sighs> Great, I'm alone again. Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talks! Here comes the money! Money, money, money! <laughs> Aladdin. I'm finally here today. We're finally reviewing this movie. So Aladdin is the next Disney live action remake by Disney. Disney should stop doing it. I have not liked really many of these Disney live action remakes. I like Jungle Book and that's really it. I didn't really like Beauty and the Beast. I could even easily say I hate that movie. I don't know if I hate Dumbo. I think it's really boring and forgettable, but I don't know if I hate it. Now we're here with um, Aladdin, which I've been ridiculing since October. Even from the glimpse of that one teaser trailer, I could tell that they were completely messing up everything. And I saw the teaser trailer and I thought, this sucks, this is not going to be any good. Then I saw a special look on the Oscar, uh, the Grammys, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, the genie there was hilarious. It was so bad. And then the second trailer, they were like, hey, guess what, we actually do have a good genie? And it was like, oh, okay, I guess he's not all the time this blue floating idiot with Will Smith's face slapped onto him. That's really what... That's really what that trailer showed me. Even though I hate that trailer, I still think that it at least made me not think that the genie would be the worst aspect of this movie, which just sort of, it's, he's not the worst aspect. Let's talk about it. First, I'm going to talk about the original movie just real quickly. I adore the original Aladdin. That is a great movie. It has magic. It's a cartoon. It's super cartoony, which is why this movie shouldn't be made into live action. There's so many elements of this movie you're like, that, that physically doesn't work in live action, so just don't do it in live action. I'll explain what those scenes are in this movie. But, I love the original. I'd easily give it a 10 out of 10 on this channel. I think it's a great, fun, enjoyable movie. It's a fun, short, good movie. I really like that movie. And it's probably, honestly, of all the Disney of all the Disney movies that aren't Marvel or Star Wars, just forget those, that's my second favorite Disney movie, right behind The Lion King. I love both of those movies, and they're two of my favorite animated movies. But like I said, I've been ridiculing this movie for months now, this 2019 remake. I've been ridiculing it for months. It's not shown me quite yet that they can remotely get anything that will any resemble anything even close to the original success. And now I'm going to talk about it. First thing I'm going to say, everybody's like, oh, is the genie good? Is the genie good? No, he's actually not very good. I, I've seen a lot of critics say, no, the genie was actually really good. Will Smith did good. I think Will Smith did good for for what Will Smith is, but why Will Smith? Yeah, he's a charismatic actor, not Robin Williams charismatic. There is not an actor that is Robin Williams charismatic. This further proves why this movie shouldn't be live action, but now it is, and now I have Will Smith, he looks like a big dumb blue idiot, <laughs> that's how I hate everything about it, but he just, and when he's CGI and he's floating around, yeah, he looks like crap. I know they didn't show much in that second trailer, but no, he's in that a lot in this movie. Oh my god, it sucked. It's, it's on par with Sonic to me, honestly. That, that design of the genie is on par with Sonic. But honestly, Will Smith, his comedy isn't very funny. I never really laughed at him, unless it's ironically because of the blue design. But it wasn't the worst thing ever. He has a very, very kind of almost, almost medicine to humor. It's almost, but it's not very funny. It's very forced. There are a lot of scenes where you're like, Robin Williams delivers that well. Genie does it. And you probably are all thinking, does he do it? You ain't never had a friend like me, because you can actually listen to that song on YouTube. Well, quite frankly, he doesn't do bad at you, you never had a friend like me, but why listen to that song when you can go over and listen to the original? Audio is not very different, and you just have Will Smith cover, which is miles worse than Robin Williams' version. So just listen to Robin Williams' version. There's no need for this Will Smith version. It's why ever listen to it? I'm never going to listen to it. It's not very good. The whole scene, you ain't never had a friend like me. I didn't. I don't know. That's a scene that only works in animation. So stop trying to make these live action. Oh, and other things. Acting in this movie as a whole. Just other than Will Smith. Other than the genie. The acting in this movie was... Ew, it was pretty bad. It's not like every actor sucks in this movie. Jafar was bad. Probably the most they messed up on any character. He's probably the most enjoyable character in this movie, honestly, in the ironic way. He was that bad at acting. He completely, I was laughing a lot of time. I was thinking a lot of time, you just suck. Like, he's enjoyable kind of in the movie. And there's a lot of very pointless scenes with him. 
The original Jafar is menacing. He's very charismatic. He has a lot of emotion coming off of him. And while you can't really put that into live action, which is why this movie shouldn't exist. I guess they did good for what they had, but still, he sucks in this movie. He's kind of funny, honestly. Like, he has, like, the original would, like, yell out a lot, like, bring me the lamp! And then, or yell at the guy when he goes into the Cave of Wonders at the beginning. And this one, he goes, bring me the lamp! Like, some, I don't know, he's, he's stupid. <laughs> now, Aladdin in this movie, not one of the most interesting characters from the whole story. He's interesting enough for me, but I thought he fine. I thought the actor did sometimes really screwed up a lot of lines. I think that might have been the director's fault. But he wasn't the worst part of this movie. He wasn't terrible. He wasn't good by any measure, but he wasn't bad. He probably the best he did any character. But there's one character that I think that they honestly a lot of people will be like, oh my god, they did she did so good. But no, I think that they screwed Jasmine up. There are a lot of reasons as to why, but the main thing is it's not really a spoiler, but this movie, guess what it is? Do you expect anything? It's it's feminist propaganda. This movie is that. Literally, they can't have a female character in a movie without this being a strong female character who don't need no man, which is now what we're referring to as as, because that's funny. But why does nobody understand this? That new Catwoman trailer? Oh my god, that, that show is going to suck. It totally doesn't know how to do this. And this movie didn't know how to do it. That, she has this own speechless song in the movie. I hated that scene because it was so... The, the, you will be very surprised. You'll be like, wait, wait, wait. We're doing this now? Is it now a good time? And the pacing goes to a grinding halt for this very mediocre song to play. And I, the whole scene, I was thinking, this is really forced. Like, she, like in the original, she kind of is the damsel in distress. She's not a weak character in that movie. I do like her character in that movie a lot. I think they did her well. But in this movie, she's like, no, I will never be put... It's, it's really complicated, but in the other movie... She's, Jafar kind of like, in a way, it sexualizes her, which is realistic. Jafar's a creep, but this movie, they're like, no, we can't do what? We can't do that. We can't do anything touchy whatsoever. Seriously? Disney, what happened to you? You made the original Aladdin. Not, no, somebody else didn't make it. You made it. Why can't you do the same things in this movie? Is there a problem with? Is there really a problem with that? Yeah, I think that messed up Jasmine. And her actress sometimes are did all right, but as a whole, she delivered a lot of lines pretty bad. Visually is another thing. I didn't dig the visuals all that much in this movie. Everything looks just so clean. Like Aladdin doesn't look like a street rat. It, it, nobody looks like what they. I mean, the only thing that looks real is the palace, which every gold piece of gold looks like plastic. The lamp did look fine, I guess. It looked fine to me, but. Mostly, most things look pretty fake in this movie. The whole poor town does not look poor to me at all. They all have very polished, clean clothes. And yeah, I, I hated that, honestly. Honestly, in terms of set, this movie seemed like a play. That's bad. You don't want to seem like a play. A plays don't go through editing. Plays are entirely 100% practical, which is what I love so much about plays over movies, even though I like movies more than plays, but this movie is at 100% at practical, but everything looks like a play. It really does. And I kid you not, they do almost 20 minutes of this movie is spent to this watered down, just completely thrown away cringe humor that they think is so funny that they drag it out. Like it's just 20 minutes of pure that humor. And I guess it's effective because it's cliche and everybody knows the formula. But the whole scene I was thinking, who gives a crap? This movie drags out so many scenes. So it can be two hours long, but it drags out scenes. There are scenes in this movie that I was thinking, why is this scene so freaking long? I won't get much into this, but the genie just has this relationship with this character for a bit. And, or the, yeah, the genie, like, has a relationship with the assistant of the of Jasmine and it's so it's one of the worst relationships I've seen in cinema honestly it, there's no development there at all why is that in the movie I don't know to give the genie development he had fine development in the original oh wait no we have to change this from the original because we're the gritty version I don't know there are also so many odd choices in this movie like They'll make this really weird choice. You're like, what the frick? That totally goes against the original. And then it will go back to on track of the original, and you're just thinking, 
Why didn't you just go with the original way? Because when you went off track, you did something that didn't make any sense to me. Why, why'd you do that? Honestly, guys, to look for positives of this entire movie, of this entire glob of film, looking for positives, it's actually kind of hard. Like, genuinely, I usually can find, oh, the CGI, like in a Disney movie, I'll say the CGI looks good, but I can't say that about this movie. Some of it looked fine, but a lot of it looked really bad. I can't say the visuals were good. Some of the cinematography was great in this movie, but a lot of it sucked. I can't say the musical numbers were good, because they're the exact same musical numbers from the original, except just worse now. I can't really give anything to this movie. There's almost no credit to give to this movie. I'm serious, guys. Since October, I have been ridiculing this movie. And I didn't think... I didn't think it would be the level of bad I thought it would be. Like, like I thought, okay, probably like probably in this, this little range right here. And it smashed that range and went lower. It did for me. I was... I was not only bored a lot of the movie, I didn't even mention that. A lot of this movie is really boring because it wants to stretch these scenes out to make it two hours. Well, not only is a lot of this movie just boring, so much of it is just annoying. It never once remotely becomes close to being as good as the original. When I give you my rating, you will see that. This movie never, never reaches that mark. Not even close. Honestly, this movie's on par with movies like Nutcracker in the Four Realms and A Wrinkle in Time. I'm serious. This movie was boring, sloppy, it didn't really do anything correctly, it failed at the original, the editing sucked, I didn't even mention that, a lot of the editing sucked, it felt like a play, the CGI sucked. Honestly, I'm really surprised this came out of Disney, and if this is the level of quality I just got for this remake, oh my god, how bad will The Lion King be? Because, guys, I'm going to give Aladdin 2019 a 2 out of 10. No, I do not care that Rotten Tomatoes is rating in the 50s and 60s, which is actually love for that live adventure remake. Good on you, critics. Seriously, I don't care that that movie's high rated there. I don't care that Awesomeberg gave it a 73. I don't care that not even Chris Stuckman hated it. I don't care that Jeremy Johnson didn't hate it. I hate this movie. It is terrible. And please... Whether you want to see the movie or not, wait till Redbox. Just just don't see it. Please. What do you guys think on Aladdin? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I don't know exactly what comes out this weekend. I might even make a spoiler review. I don't think I will. I, I don't really feel like talking about this movie for that much longer. But I think Godzilla is next week, which I'm hyped for. There's not all that much. I'm going to start reviewing X-Men movies soon because Dark Phoenix comes out soon. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it. There's not a lot coming on soon. And that sucks because... Um, I was at a good rate not that long ago, and then I stopped having videos to upload. But yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.